Welcome back everybody. It is Monday, June 19th, 2023. And for me, it's run streak day 259. Nice day out, morning I should say. Uh, it's about 82 degrees right now, 81, 82 Fahrenheit, something like that. So warm, but not like crazy hot yet. It's supposed to get up to like 91 today. So I'm trying to get my run in early. I've been running in the evenings to avoid the heat and that's been working. In fact, I ran last night. Um, so it's always fun to run in the evening and then get some sleep and then run the next morning. But legs are feeling good, spirits are high. Inga's, uh, two of Inga's daughters are coming to visit us and they should be here at some point today, which is nice. But that also reminded me, I won't have my office available because they're gonna be sleeping in my uh, the bedroom, which is my office. So I won't be able to put videos together. So I better do one today while they're on their way over here. So the new balances that I showed in the last video ended up returning those a um, couple days ago. They, uh, they just weren't working. Too many blisters, wasn't working. So returned them, bought a new pair, which I'm wearing today for the first time. I'll put a little clip of the shoes up. They are the A6 GT 1000, I think is what they're called. Uh, anyway, yeah, great shoe so far, really comfortable. Uh, with the other ones, the uh, New Balances, I had to buy it a half a size too big, which I think was part of the problem because my normal size was too small. So I went half a size bigger. I think I was just too big. And then the high heel on the back of them just was killing me. I thought so far on the shoes though, the A6 GT 1000s, excellent. Excellent, the uh, insoles in these are really comfortable. A little bit of padding on there. So your foot kind of sinks in a little bit as you uh, run. Feels great. Just really takes that impact of the road uh, really well. The cushioning's good, not too much, not too little. Um, very lightweight, breathable as well, which is what I need because I've been getting blisters on the bottom of my feet from my socks getting wet. And uh, that's due to the humidity and such, of course. But I can feel the breeze kind of blowing through the shoes. They're supposed to be, you know, designed to be really breathable and stuff. And that's exactly why I bought them. And so far, they're performing really well. So later in the video, we're gonna have a little bit of a grocery haul. Not a big one, because we didn't do our main, like, produce shopping and stuff yet. We are gonna wait until uh, Inga's daughters got here to go up to the store and get all that type of food. But we did find a few things from uh, Costco, Target, and I can't remember the other store. I wanna say maybe it was Walmart, not sure. But grocery haul coming up after the run. Also, the return of Thrifty Scent. Did actually grab a few things at the thrift store this week. So I'll show you what I got. We're almost at the lake. It's just around the corner here. to stop here with a nice view of the lake and talk about Iron Man. So I've been thinking a lot since the last Iron Man event that came through here. I looked it up and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments here, but it was like a 1.2 mile swim, 13.1 uh, mile run. So like a, what you call it, half marathon. And then the bike ride was a little over 50 miles, I wanna say. So I'm pretty sure I could do that. <laughs> Actually, in fact, I have ran 10 miles then biked 54 miles in the same afternoon So I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have any real problems there swimming on the other hand I'm not a strong swimmer at all. Would I be able to swim the mile? Probably I can't say it would be easy. My point is I'm still on the run streak obviously, but at some point the run streak's going to end I'm gonna end it at some point. I don't know when I don't have a set date or number or anything like that when I do end it though 
that will probably be what I start to focus on is triathlon training, learning how to swim efficiently, um, being one of my top priorities, obviously. So we'll see how that goes. So obviously if I wanted to do the next Ironman Des Moines, that's gonna be basically next year, next June, um, as long as they're following the same calendar. So that gives me plenty of time to train for it. Of course, I could do a, an event earlier than that, maybe a smaller one or something. I'll see uh, what's around. I know they do some sort of triathlon up at Waterworks Park over there, but that may have already happened. I'm not sure. I'm sure there's other ones in the area that I can do those smaller ones. What are your thoughts? Should I take that seriously? Should I seriously start focusing more on triathlon training and not the run streak? So in the last video when I was at Easter Lake, they had the beach area all closed off. Luckily though, Gray's Lake still has quite a nice little beach area. We're hoping to bring uh, the girls here to do some paddle boarding and swimming and whatnot. So maybe I'll catch, capture some footage of that here over the next couple days. We'll see how that goes. It's gonna be hot this week. It's gonna be like in the 90s all week. So we're gonna need the water, that's for sure. All right, we've made it back downtown, back along the river walk, along the uh, Des Moines River here. We're about half a mile from home, so pretty pretty much done here. Run's gonna end up being just over six miles. We'll have that recap here in a minute. And we'll also look at the run streak stats in total for the entirety of the run streak. All right, made it back 6.31 miles, pace today, eight minutes, 28 seconds. Pretty effortless though in the shoes. It uh, felt like I was actually going like more like an 850 pace. So it was just like really effortless, which is nice. I think these shoes are gonna work out really well. I would definitely rate them pretty high at this point. Again, it's only run number one in them. More to come on that. Either way, I'm gonna go get showered up and uh, clean up, get ready for the rest of my day. And we'll take a look at that uh, grocery haul. All right, here we go. Grocery haul time. We're gonna start over here and we're gonna start with these syrups. Now we got three different syrups. We got vanilla bean, green apple, and white chocolate. And these were actually from Marshall's, so not a uh, grocery store, but Inga found them over at Marshall's for really cheap. They were like $6.99 or $5.99, something like that. That's all we got over there. Then Walmart, just a couple things. We got some lettuce, a couple packages of these uh, sweet chili cauliflower wings. These were on sale for $2.97. They're actually pretty dang good. And they had these uh, Bushes baked beans on sale as well. I think they were $1.88. So we got four things, two of the brown sugar ones and then two of just the regular ones. So those will be good. Then we went over to Target, again, just for a couple things. Uh, we were looking for our normal Asian sesame dressing, um, which is from Newman's Own, I believe, but we couldn't find it. We did find this Ken's one, which hopefully is comparable. We'll see, we haven't tried it yet. We grabbed a couple cans of the Campbell's Well Yes plant-based chicken with rice soup. Those are $2.69 each. And then this is a new item here. These were on sale for $3.19. Meatless chicken meatballs with buffalo style sauce. Sounds interesting. We'll see, I have no idea what I'm actually gonna do with those at this point, but we'll do something. On to Trader Joe's. We've got a couple packages of Light Life Smart Dogs vegan tikka masala, grabbed a thing of uh, white corn out of the freezer section there, got some sweet chili sauce, lots of bags of edamame, and one bag of the shelled edamame there. And last but not least we have, oh, and some fried rice, almost forgot the fried rice, can't forget the fried rice. Rest of the stuff over here is all from Costco. So we got a package of uh, Beyond Burgers. We still had some in the freezer, but figured we might as well grab them because we're doing a lot of barbecuing and stuff like that lately, and these work really well for that. And we like these ones better than like the Gardein ones that are more widely available anyway. And we got some hot dog buns there. 
Got some Boom Chicka Pop, the big bag. I think it was $4.99 this time. Normally we actually pay like $3.69 for that, but not this time, unfortunately. These avocados were cheap though. It's like a six pack of avocados and we paid $3.69 for that. Got a package of tofu, so four pounds of tofu there, $7.50 for that. And then we actually got two of these things of bread, but one of them has already been uh, open. <laughs> it got open when we got home. So we got two of these and it was $5 for two of these things of uh, bread there, the Sara Lee bread. And then I found these, which I'm excited for, garlic and jalapeno stuffed olives. I think these were $5.99 for this big huge jar of those. All right, that's it for the grocery haul. Okay, so here we go, thrifty scent time. Now, what did we find at the uh, thrift store this week? Mostly movies, as you can see. However, we did get this mug, which is a Greater Des Moines Botanical Garden mug. The Greater Des Moines Botanical Garden is about half a mile away across the uh, river, and we've been there before. It's great. In fact, we're planning on going there again soon, but I figured I can pay $1.50 for this mug at Goodwill, or it's probably like $15 to $20 at the actual garden itself. So bought it at Goodwill, good price. Then we got this, uh, it's like a serving tray type of thing for if we wanna like have snacks in bed while we're watching a movie or whatever. It's pretty handy. We ended up using it last night, it worked really well. I think we paid $3.50 for the tray. Now the movies, we got some good ones here. We got the classic old school version, Stephen King's It, the original version, not the uh, new one. I haven't actually seen the new one. Cop Out, which believe it or not is a Bruce Willis movie that we didn't watch when we had our like 100 day long Bruce Willis movie streak uh, going last year. So I'm looking forward to that, that's a good one. Then we got the Robert Rodriguez Mexico trilogy, which includes El Mariachi, Desperado, of course, and Once Upon a Time in Mexico. And all these movies were $2.50 each, um, including the, the three pack there. It was the same price, $2.50 for all three of those. So pretty good deal. Cop Out is actually still in the original plastic like packaging. It's never even been opened. So that's kind of nice as well. It's brand new. All right, that's it. That's gonna do it for this video. Thanks everybody for watching. Please like and subscribe. Till next time, everybody, take care.